Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be continuing my Meet My Rat series, which is basically a series where I go over my individual rats, and I tell you a little bit about their personalities and backgrounds. So today's spotlight will be on my rat, Omelet, and Omelet is a nearly two-year-old female rat that I got back in April 3rd of 2021. She and her sister, Egg, came from someone's accidental feeder litter, uh, and basically the situation was that the mom was bought for the intended purpose, but the night that they got her, she ended up giving birth and they didn't want to feed off the newborn babies or mom. So they decided to go ahead and raise the babies and then adopt everyone out. So I got contacted when the babies were, I think, two weeks old. So I got to watch them kind of grow up. And once they reached the appropriate age of six weeks, I went ahead and offered to take two of them. So I picked out two of the girls, and at the time, all the rats looked the same. Like, they all just looked like pink-eyed white rats, so I really couldn't tell them apart. I tried to go for the most confident ones, but they were all pretty skittish, so I was just kind of picking randomly. Uh, and the two I came home with were Omelette and Egg. And I had always wanted to name a pink-eyed white rat Egg, so I needed a pair name to go with that, and I chose Omelette for the other girl, which is the rat in this video. Now Alma ended up surprising me by developing Himalayan markings when she was about nine weeks old. Himalayan markings are basically points on the nose, butt, kind of on the ears, and sometimes on the paws, but usually you just see it on the nose and butt. And the thing with Himalayan rats is that when they're babies, they are pink-eyed whites, and they are indistinguishable from any other pink-eyed white rat out there. Uh, but then when they're a few weeks old, they will start to develop points. And usually this happens between 6 to 12 weeks of age, although it can happen a little earlier or a little later. And in Omelette's case, it happened when she was a little over 9 weeks of age. And I was very glad to see her develop those points because before that I had been having to mark her and Egg's tail with some food coloring. This is completely safe and it's a very common way to mark identical rats to tell them apart. Anyways, as far as Omelette's personality goes, she is a very interesting rat. She is a little bit skittish compared to her sister. I mean, both girls are a little skittish compared to my other rats. Uh, but Omelette is definitely the more skittish between her and Egg when it comes to people. When it comes to environments and other rats, Omelet is the more confident one. She is definitely the rat in the cage who kind of rules the roost. Everyone respects her and no one will challenge her. And she's also one of my hardest rats to intro because she can be a little bit of a turd to new rats. Um, so she is a little bit of a butt in that regard, but once she bonds with a the rat, then she becomes very close to them and she really loves her cage mates. She just takes a while to accept them. Omelette's also very close to her sister, and both she and Egg are pretty much always seen together. They pretty much always sleep together, cuddle together. They're just very close, and it's really adorable to see. Um, and right now, they're also very close with my two youngest girls, who are dwarf girls. Omelette gave both those girls quite a bit of trouble when we were doing intros, but now that she's accepted them, they really like to cuddle all the time, and it's just the cutest thing. As far as people go, Alma is a little bit more standoffish and skittish. Uh, she used to not like handling at all, like she would just back away or squeak at you. But now that she's a little bit older, she's pretty good with handling. She'll tolerate it, no problem, but it's definitely not her favorite thing, and so I try not to handle her too much. She does like to crawl on you. She likes to train. She loves trick training. She's super good at it, and she learns new tricks really quickly. She's actually really confident when it comes to new items in the training area, which is really interesting because her sister Egg takes a little bit more time to warm up to new things. Uh, but Omelette herself will typically investigate new things right away, so it's a lot of fun to train her new tricks because she never has to really adjust to something. She will immediately try and interact with it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, she is just a really sweet rat towards other rats, and she's also pretty sweet towards people. She's just a little bit more independent than my other rats, and that's okay. That's just kind of how she is. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Omelette, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!